Ahoy mateys, this is Peter the Teacher and welcome to the Google Classroom Tour for week two for Concert Orchestra. So this week we have a few new things that we're going to look at, um, especially in the layout of Google Classroom here. So as many of you may have seen on the top here we have social media, as this includes the YouTube channel link um, where you can go find all the videos that you need for the week. Um, then my Instagram, if you're interested in some music, school, slash, snowboarding, skiing, mountain biking relating stuff in the future. And then random questions, Google Hangouts. And what this is, every week, or not every week, every day from 11 to 12, Monday through Friday, um, I'll be on this Google Hangout link. So if you want to drop in and say hi, if you have a question, um, or if you just want to hang out with other people on there, then you can come join us and that will be from 11 to 12, so that's new as well. As we scroll down here, I split up the resources into a few different topics. So we have our resources section that still has some stuff in it that doesn't fit in our other categories, but now videos. Um, it's as if it's a video that we're gonna continue to look back at, it will be under videos here. Um, and then our sheet music stuff is down here under sheet music and then etudes are going to be down here in their own etudes topic. So let's take a look at what we're doing for week two. So the first thing you need to do is go to Orchestra Week 2 Assignments and go ahead and open up that document. All right, from here, this week is a little bit special. We only have four days of school. There is no school Friday, so there's not going to be an assignment to do that day. The first thing you need to do is watch the Google Classroom Tour video for the week. And that video will be up um, in Remote Week 2 here once I get it up on YouTube. And then, after that, we're going to start watching the Beethoven Eroica movie that we um, watched a little bit last fall. That link is here under Remote Week 2, and you can go ahead and click on that and watch as much as you want whenever you want. Tuesday is going to be a practice day, um, and we'll get into what is going on with that a little bit later and where to find that information. Wednesday, you're going to continue watching the Beethoven movie, and then Thursday is our final day. So you need to finish watching that movie and then complete the Beethoven Eroica movie Google form. So that is right here. You can go ahead and click on it. And make sure you put your name, and then I have four questions um, related to the movie that you need to complete. All right. And then finally, at the end of the week, we're going to attempt a Google Hangouts, and that those times are going to be posted up in your specific Google Classroom um, on when they're going to be. And for those, we're just going to use this random questions Google Hangout link up here. So you can go ahead and click in there and join through that link. Alrighty, so. Let's talk about performance expectations and how all of this is going to be working because there is a little bit of confusion this week. Um, so first off, whenever you're practicing, it's a good idea to go ahead and take a look at the performance, uh, what do I call it? Practice routine document. So this is under resources, so I'll go ahead and open this up. And basically what this outlines is kind of the things that you should be looking at every day. So you need the tune, do some open um, strings bowing, practice your scale, practice the etude, practice your assigned music, and then finally finish with something fun. That's always an important thing to do. And then at the bottom here, these are more specific things um, in your practicing. So if you kind of hit a snag or something's not working out, these are kind of some steps you can go through to try and improve those. So take a look at this, it's super helpful. All right, next thing. So for this week, the first thing you're doing is you're doing the first octave of the Allstate Audition scale. Um, and this material is gonna be down here under sheet music, so I can go ahead and click on that. And then you have your first scale on here, which is what you guys are gonna be doing. So violins, you're doing an A major scale, one octave, so you're starting on A, and you're gonna do this little turnaround, and then you'll finish on A. Violas and cellos, you guys are doing D major, and basses, you are doing F major. And go ahead and go ahead and follow the way that they um, write this out, even though it's not completely direct. All right, so for this week, you have two options. You can, if you are planning to audition for Allstate, 
Um, you can choose to practice these materials instead and turn those in instead of the etudes. If you're not doing um, the Allstate auditions, then you need to be practicing the etudes for the week. Okay. Um, so the etudes, as I mentioned earlier, they're under their own topic now here. So cellos, you guys are doing the Doucher etude Heft 1 Allegro lines 5 through 8. So I'll go ahead and go to my cello etudes, Doucher etudes. And I'll scroll down until I start seeing music. And I find Heft 1 Allegro. And I'm doing lines 5 through 8 up until this measure here. And then the same goes for everybody else. Go ahead and follow whatever etude you're doing. Um, and it is all in that topic. Alright, um, the next thing on here are the Allstate excerpts. So that is here under the 2020 Allstate audition material, same spot we were earlier. And violins, you guys are doing the first three lines of the Beethoven uh, number no. 7 symphony. So one, two, three. So you're working on that for this week. Um, and then for everybody else, you just scroll down in this PDF. And for example, we have our violas here. And then cellos. And then finally bass at the bottom. Okay. All right. So um, if you have other music you're working on on your own, that'll kind of fill this in right now. I'm not sure... Depending on how things go, I'm not sure if we're going to end up um, playing the music that we were playing in class. So you can work on any other music you have. Now let's talk about turning all this in, because I had a lot of questions this week about that. So when turning in your performance stuff, first of all, I'll post up the Flipgrid link. And that will be under Remote Week 2, just like I did in Week 1 here. And that'll have the specifics about exactly what you need to do. Um, and I'll post that up on Thursday evening of every week. That way you're actually doing a little bit of practicing um, instead of just doing it all on Monday and turning it in. So for this week, you'll be doing that first octave of the Allstate audition. Then you're going to do either your etudes excerpt or the Allstate excerpt. And that's all you need to record for the week. If for some reason Flipgrid doesn't work, you can just turn it into Google Classroom and that works as well, just uploading it on there. All right, um, a few basic or just kind of general things for everybody. Um, if you do have a question or a comment and you don't mind other people seeing it, go ahead and make it just a public comment for the whole class because uh, there's going to be a lot of people that probably have the same comment um, and that's going to be super helpful. The other thing is make sure you're actually watching the videos and following instructions. The goal behind these videos is so that it makes everything pretty clear. Of course, I'm probably going to miss something, but um, in general, I think everything is laid out pretty clearly and is well organized. So that's all I have for this week. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like below and have a beautiful day.